Bonjour à tous and welcome to another vlog from Chateau de la Couture. If you're following us on our Facebook group, Life at Chateau de la Couture, um, if you're not, please send a request if you want to, if you're on Facebook. Many of us, quite sensibly, are not on Facebook. Completely empathise with that. Um, but you will notice that uh, we used a phrase the other day called Chateau Groundhog Day. And certainly for you viewers, it might start to feel a little bit like that at the moment because once again, we are in the bathroom. Um, behind me, you can see that this wall has now been plastered. This is the wall we showed you that had the deep gouges in the last episode. So let's have a look. And this is where the shower and the toilet are going and Julian had to dig out, uh, chisel out for the new water pipes. And the water pipes are in. We've just put the old tap back on for now, just so we didn't have to cap it off. And it's enabled me a couple of days ago to plaster this wall. Just to make sure it was leveled. And also to make... <laughs> Who threw you a fish? <laughs> and to make sure it's level. That's why, yeah. So, the, so yes, so the, when the new tap goes on, it, it's level. It's not wonky, so the pipes aren't all... Good thinking, Batman. On the spot. Yeah. <laughs> not just a pretty face with a beard at the moment. <laughs> um, so there you have it from the horse's mouth. Comrade's mouth at the moment, and uh, you can see that this uh, patchwork quilt of plaster is starting to dry quite nicely. So there's not. Uh, I also did the reveals as well. Uh, just a little point to note on these reveals. I showed you how to put the reveal beads on um, a couple of episodes ago, and in my short career of plastering, <laughs> that's how I've always done it. In fact, um, it was someone else who showed us how to do it. Um, unfortunately, I've been corrected that that is the wrong way. The metal should actually go to the wall, um, not the um, paper. Um, but the way that I've been doing it has also worked quite well. However, I will revert, I'll watch some of the other YouTube videos and I will revert to trying it the other way next time we come to use those beads. Um, but there you go, Testament. It seems to work both ways. It has given us, in the few rooms that I've done, it's given us nice crisp edges. Um, and uh, no fail in plaster. So I'm happy with it, despite uh, you perhaps using them the wrong way. But if I ever am corrected, thank you for your comments, then I'll admit I was wrong. Um, so just don't always follow everything you see on YouTube. Good uh, lesson to be learned there for the day. In the dressing rooms are finished plastering now. And the walls are still drying out. So what we are, what I'm going to do is just do some work in this cupboard here. Um, what we, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint everything white, give everything a bit of a, a blank canvas. Julian um, is going to do hide this um, uh, this gown at some stage. But this is going to be a cupboard just for us, so we're not too concerned. And as it comes through that wall there and then needs to rest on the back because of the shelves. So the other option I suppose is we could cut it into the shelves. So I'm not sure about that. So I'm just gonna to start to uh, freshen everything up, just give it a bit of a white uh, coat of white paint. Then I'm gonna do the ceilings in each dressing room. Um, and then the, a couple of walls have dried, so I'll do those. So it's gonna be a bitten and bobbing. Um, and I will make sure that I have got the full PPE on, i.e. goggles and mask today. Hi Julian. Hello. Yeah, the sun's coming through, is it in your eyes? Sorry. Okay. So I thought we'd have a catch up because oh. you had the, last time we spoke, you had the first joist in. Okie dokies. Um, so you kind of sat on everything, so I can't really see it, but. <laughs> okay. So talk us through what you've done so far. Um, just Added more joists, okay. the cross ones. Oh, actually, yeah. Added the cross ones in, and starting off now with the ones going running that way, which would be the same as a floorboard run. Mm -hmm. um, trying to find out where this floor starts dipping, which is about here. So I've loosened these floorboards off a little bit. Because they, a couple of the joists have bit dips haven't they? Yeah. So I'll put some chops underneath there to get the floor level, or mm -hmm. as level as I can. And then 
but hopefully by the end of tomorrow we'll have a, a floor. Okay, so because we you've actually already done more than what we planned, haven't you? Yeah. Because we weren't going to have these in between ones. So tell us what, show us now what the original plan was, because we've got a couple of questions of people not actually understanding my description. So the original plan was, because I can't point, so you show me what we were going for originally. Oh, originally, very originally, or? No, just like before you decided to put these extra ones in. The original one was to have, um, or the original plan was to have these three, mm -hmm. and then just wandering across. Mm -hmm. I should say ones in between three, uh, but because I've taken the floorboard right back now, mm -hmm. I'm just going to, it might be over engineering, okay, if it is, but I'm going to add another one running there, mm -hmm. I've added one there as well, mm -hmm. um, then the, these two have been added, another two there, and then one I think there's no doubt that it's a little bit over-engineered, but as you said, it's better to be safe than sorry, and it's going to help you lay a better floor, I think, as well. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Okay, so we'll come back and have a look when the joists are in then. Okay, okay. And, uh, yeah, it's coming along good. So while you sat having her coffee, have you finished joisting? Yeah. That's joisting, not jousting. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Fine. I think once we had the idea sorted, yeah. um, it was just, uh, together, just... Yeah. I mean, this is before we've done the floor. Well, true. But um, you've just started on with that now, haven't you? So yeah. well, I'll just give you a quick pan out to... So this is what the joists are now like. And uh, we've got this triangular shaped one here because where this uh, one goes on to, this joist is all, it's okay, isn't it? But it's... Yeah, it's, um, it's pretty sound. It's... Oh, what was the reasoning to doing a triangle? Well, the reason behind that was, although the jo that joist in itself is pretty sound, internally on the outside, it's quite flaky in places. Mm. Um, so I couldn't have got a flat surface so to put one of the uh, brackets. So you've just gone so with I've a... So I've had to go do a... Triangular shaped one. A triangular one. So, yeah, better safe than sorry, but that looks pretty solid now. <laughs> I don't think there's any doubt that uh, that is going to hold what we need to hold. It's had my weight on it, so it's got to be... Yeah, but we you, we did on. say that we're going to put, when we do dress this room, we're actually going to put a bed yeah. over this middle bit here, this wall, aren't we? So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's def definitely going to hold a bit, that's for sure. So, well done. So now, the next stage, you're on to just where your crowbar is. What's what's the plan here? I'm lifting the joists. Sorry, not the joists. The, um, gosh, the floor floorboards. Boards. Because where the joists are dipped here, yeah. believe it or not, that is level with the floor over there. That end one. Yeah. But you can see there. Yeah. So where these have dropped, dropped about four or five centimetres in places. So I'm going to lift these up. Yeah. Stick a, a chock underneath there. Yeah. Um, to, to get these level again. Get the floorboards bounced back up. And then get the new floorboards laid. Yeah. So basically we've gone with the... The level over there is the correct level because everything else is sunk. Yeah, yeah, it's sunk here. Yeah. yeah, which doesn't surprise me because they've taken the joists out of the side, haven't they? So, or yes, there's no the, the stabilisation. The, the the joists were probably went into the chimney, which they've removed here. Mm -hmm. Someone has removed at some point, um, whether it's previous owners, I don't know. But then, at that point, then obviously the concrete base had been put over. Uh, the top of the chimney there to secure a uh, support a shower tray uh, which wasn't great so we've just kind of now there's not a chimney there we um restabilize these other joists at this side which is where you're sat because they're the ones that were dipping because they weren't all they were attached to was just this 
this middle joist here, which had rotted, hadn't they? Yeah. So, yeah, we now have joists back all across the, uh, the width of the floor now. Um, as I said, we only started this floor because we need to get this partition wall built. So we're hoping that the floorboards are done tomorrow. Um, well, yeah, by tomorrow. Yeah, by tomorrow. Um, and then straight on to building this partition wall. And then uh, plumbing again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. Okay, okay. Catch you later. <laughs>